Hello guys and welcome to another Mad Chili video. Today, I'm talking about a brand new thing uh, for this flight sim. We're on the brand new PC, by the way. This is the first time I'm recording a video on my brand new streaming PC. Uh, this is the stream. This is the this is the PC that streams will happen on from now on. <coughs> but anyway, it looks pretty cool. So. Uh, this is the A32NX project, um, that they are looking for a proper name. Um, this is their Discord server, they have a Discord server, I highly recommend you uh, you join it. I, I don't know exactly what the link is for it, but there should be quite an easy way of joining, I don't know. Um, and, yeah, it, basically, you go to A320 releases, you click on version 0.1.1, uh, which is the current version, it takes you to GitHub, which is a, like, a coding kind of website, and you basically just click on source code, and that downloads it, so I haven't actually downloaded it yet on this PC, so we're going to go ahead and click on it, click save file, and you can see, there it is, up there, we're we'll heading to file explorer now, uh, and you can see here it is in my downloads, so, really cool really, um, you know, this project is really good, this is basically a tutorial by the way, <laughs> I have to, to install it if no one I'd realize. So what this basically does is it's like the Zebo 737 um, in X-Plane. It is a free open source plane um, that is taking the default A320 in the game up to another level. Now right now all it does is um, change how the uh, the AD ADIRS aligns. It adds that. Um, it changes how the ECAM works. It adds a seat. It adds seatbelt and no smoking sign functionality. Right now, that's all it does. Um, but in the future, it will do so much more. So you can go, we'll go into here, and you can see, there we go, this is our folder, the A32NX. Um, <clears throat> and what we want to basically do is take uh, this file, move, and move it to... Uh, I, I have it in here, look, and I have it in a custom directory. Um, if you guys do not have it... Uh, do not have Microsoft Flight Sim in a custom directory. Um, it will be under your whichever drive your Windows is installed on. App data, local, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, a bunch of random numbers. If you got it off, um, off, off Microsoft Store, and then pack, and then same that you see here. So Microsoft Flight Simulator, the packages, and then community. This is where if you guys have got a livery pack installed, like I do. Uh, this is where all the liveries go as well. So we're going to go ahead and move it to there. Um, or copy it, depending on how you do things. I like to move it. And then I delete this copy. And I, I just move the the zip copy and keep it in my download archive. That's how I do things. And then if we start up the same, the changes will be present. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this little teeny tutorial. And also, uh, the new PC. First stream on this new PC. I think I'm going to do a test stream on Saturday. We're going to do a short little flight inside the new flight sim and then from then we're gonna start with some with some fsx streams the week after um <coughs> and some fun on the new sim so that should be really good i hope you guys really enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one bye